All right, welcome back. Uh, I'm just going to go through a quick review on how I record videos and how I make them. Um, I've got OBS here. Whee! Um, so, first of all, when I load OBS, I load OBS and I run an, as an administrator. But sometimes the game display doesn't work for War Thunder unless you run this as an administrator. Um, so this is what I've been using. I used to use... Uh, I used to use Radeon Relive, Relive, but um, OBS is a lot more versatile, which you'll see in a minute. Now, I've, I'm just going to go through a few settings. I don't know exactly how they work, because all I did was I looked up on YouTube how to record and stream on, on OBS, and just uh, I watched a load of those videos and, and got settings from there. So I've put settings in, but I don't know exactly what they do, but I'm just going to show you what, what I've got. Um, so first of all, my video is base cam versus 1080p, output is 1080p, downscale filter, bicubic sharpening scaling, 16 samples. No idea what that means, but that's what I've put, and it's 60 FPS. Um, the output, that's the streaming one, the recording. Um, so recording, I've got a separate disc for recording, separate, uh, yeah, don't need that. Recording format is MP4. I use four tracks. So with OBS, you can record four separate audio tracks into the same video, which is really useful. Um, and I don't think uh, I don't think the AMD does that. So uh, encoder H.264 AVC encoder because I've got an AMD graphics card. That's the one I picked. I don't rescale it. I don't know what that means. Uh, and this is basically what I've got for recording. Uh, balanced, constant bitrate, pre-pass mode disabled, target bitrate is 40,000 megabits. Um, now, YouTube, when you, uh, when you upload a 1080p 60 frames per second video to YouTube, no matter what quality you send it, YouTube will always compress it down to 12 megabits. So my theory is, if I can create the best recording I can before it re before YouTube compresses it down to 12 megabits um, that's what I tried to do I've got 40 megabits here 40,000 megabits um, I can't go much higher than that because my computer starts to stutter but I try and record it as high as possible basically uh, filler data enabled I don't know what that means keyframe interval I've got two I don't know what that means view mode basic so that's all I have for when I record um, streaming. This is my Twitch settings, two and a half. I, yeah, I just copied that off someone on YouTube. So my recording settings are them. Um, so with the audio, um, which is quite useful, I think you can have about six, six audio tracks mixed into the same video. Um, I'll show you in a minute why it's so useful. Right, so the audio settings, um, as I said, you can have six, you can have up to six. Um, but anyway, I've got the speakers for the computer. That's one channel. Uh, this one comes from Discord. So anything that I hear in Discord goes to a different channel. Um, I've got a Yamaha MG10XU mixer. Uh, I'll put a picture of it here somewhere. There, probably. Um, and through the mixer, so the Discord goes into the mixer, comes out of the mixer via a USB into, into this, in, well, via Discord into, into the computer. Um, my microphone comes out of the mixer via a, a Rocksmith USB guitar amplifier adapter. So basically that is a USB cable on one end and a 6.3 millimeter guitar jack on the other end. That comes out of the mixer into the back of the computer and this line in comes out of the mixer which takes everything um, and that's usually muted when i'm recording games uh, when i'm streaming everything comes through this into the in, well into the computer it's, it's all very complicated but it's what i do um, so what that relates to is i've got four channels here um, the first channel records everything uh, the second channel records 
my audio. So I've got the game audio, my audio. The next channel records Discord audio. And the next channel records purely the game sound. So that is why I use... Oh, God. That's why I use uh, OBS, because you can have all these channels in. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, output. We've got... We've, got done, we've done that. We've done that. Um, advanced. I said I looked on a, on a YouTube video and I got, I put, whatever that is, I saw that on a YouTube video. Right, so just to recap for recording, I've got four channels, four audio channels. That's my recording data. Record as high as you can. And you got four separate channels. Now, I, I don't know how this works. I just copied it. So I'll show you how it works in a minute. Uh, click off there we'll click off there we'll minimize that and we'll go into movie studio 13 i bought this ages ago it's less uh, how much was it it was less than 50 euros less than 50 pounds maybe 30 40 pounds i think it was it's a lot less than uh, vegas put it that way and it does pretty much everything i need to do um, I think there's this, there might be a Movie Studio 14 out now. I'm not sure. But because I've only got a 1080p monitor, I don't have a 4K capable computer. This does everything that I need it to do. Um, if I was going to record in 4K, I'd get another a different version because this only outputs in 1080p. But anyway, these are the four channels I was talking about. Um, so if I drag this into here, you can see... I don't know if you can see, but you can see there's a video... See, it takes a while to load up. I'll fast forward this bit. Right, so I've, everything's loaded in. Well, most of it's loaded in. Um, just a quick tip: if you ever use Movie Studio, Movie Vegas, uh, right-click the move the actual video place, go to Properties, and disable resample. Thank me later. Just don't worry about it. Just disable it. Um, do it that as well. Okay, I, yeah, just, just do that. Just don't do anything else. Right, so, where are we? We're here. Okay, so you can see there's four channels here. Um, that's my video, obviously. That's the channel where everything is on. Um, this is the video I'm going to be working on in a minute, actually. So, uh, let's find something where I'm talking. All right, I'm over the back. There we go, right. So, okay, so if I disable all these... I'll just mute them. This channel has everything. Battles are nearly. It's got everything um. on it. So that's just a backup. I always mute it. This one is just my voice. We've got allied attackers there. Thank you. There you um, go. Mm. That's just the. That's just my voice. This one is the Discord. Um. So this is what. This is the channel that. that well, I, I, there's no one on this actually, because it's just me. But this is, <laughs> but this one is really useful because um, if uh, if I say something outrageous um, or Red says something outrageous, something like uh, I don't know, I put milk in the cup before I put the tea in it, something outrageous like that, I can edit that bit out. Um, but yeah, so that's the Discord channel, which it, it, I said it's, it's really useful. Um, and this one is just the game audio with nothing else on it so that's why I use OBS because you, you've got the versatility of uh, using everything so yeah that's just a backup I, I just usually delete it but uh, that's the backup um, and I think that's it all I need on this video is these two channels well what these two up here I can delete that. Well, that one. I can delete that. So, so um, I need to cover over there. This is a U, this is a Act Two video that I'm working on, just about now. Um. So yeah, that that is basically why I use OBS because of the four channels. And then obviously, if if one of them is a bit lower than the other, you can you can adjust them separately after the video. Um. Oh, and this one's the. This one's just for music that I put in. 
if I need to put any, uh, where is it? I'll put, <laughs> you know that, you might recognize that one. Um, if I put, uh, where is he? There. What's this? You've heard that before. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's happening. But yeah, I can put that in if I want to. Um, why has that come over there? And that's just, that's just my outro music. Which you've probably heard before. Um, so basically that's it. Um, anything else? I'll show you the export settings in a minute. Um, another thing I do sometimes, I said, doing these cinematics, it's, it's not easy. Uh, where are we? I'm showing you, I'm, I'm all spoilers here. So I'll right click that again, right click it again, take, take the, it, it, what it does, I don't know what it does, but when you upload a video, it's, when smart resamples on, everything's all blurry and weird. So I always dis disable it. Um, where are we? Try that one. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got something here, and I uh, right-click it, video effects, and I got a color corrector. Add that into the chain. Okay. Then that goes here. Pan and crop. I always it's eight. I think I try and get it to what a twenty-one nine video would be. So it's something like. It's 800 something, 813 or something like that. I don't know why I do that, it's just good. Um, and the color correction, I go down to blue midtones. Quick, that, take that off. And, and that's how I do it. It's, it's very, very simple. Um, but then again, this is all spoilers again. Um, so that's, that's how I add those in. But I said, it is quite tricky to, well, it's not tricky, it's just, it just takes a long time to do because, um, an EC match could be up to three hours long and I've got to watch the whole thing for three hours, get all the best bits out. Unfortunately, this one's only 50 minutes long. Um, so that's why it takes a long time because I've got to go through the replay video as well of maybe three hours long looking for the, the clips. Uh, I usually reserve these cinematic clips just for the tank matches, but it's not, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it just takes a while. Um, if I'm on holiday or something like that, if I'm not at work, I've got time to do it, but um, on, a work, on a work day, I only get a couple of hours to play, so it's not easy really. So um, yeah, so that's basically that. Um, so when I go to export it, I won't export it, but I'll show you what I do. Um, these settings I got from a YouTube video as well, so I don't know exactly what they do, but I just copied what, what the video did. Save to hard drive, MP4, advanced settings, um, it's this one, not this one, it's this one. Um, main concept, AVC slash AAC, and I just created a new one, this one. Customize template, and as we get see here um, frame size 1080p I don't allow the source to adjust the frame size profile main uh, the frame rate is whatever the frame rate was of the video file that was recorded so I could change it to 60 but it'll make it a bit wonky so I've just left that as it is I've left the source to adjust the frame rate because it's that's just what it was uh, field order non progressive scan aspect pic pixel ratio 1 Number of reference frames to I don't know what that means. Um, very I do I do a constant bit rate. Um, I don't know what number of slices means, but it's on four. Now I've got twenty. I've got twenty eight megabits. Oh, twenty eight bits per second. Twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight megabits. Um, now I could go. I can't go to fifty. It's recorded at forty, so I'm. I'm rendering it at 28, 
Um, I can't actually put a custom figure in there. So that's the highest I can get it. But regards, regardless of what I do, YouTube will compress it down to 12 megabits. That's why 1080p videos never look that brilliant. Um, if I had a 4K monitor and a 4K computer, or even a 1440p, um, actually, no, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to a page in a minute, I'll show you. But that's basically what I do. And then I just hit render. That would be 11 gigabytes if I left it as it was. So I won't do that. So that's that. I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm just at a, a YouTube page showing you the render, retin render settings. So, yeah, so at 1080p, this is what they recommend that you send them, send the bitrate to. So 12 megabits. They will always compress your video down, down to 12 megabits. Um, but if I had a 1440p or a, 20, or a 4K monitor and a 4K computer, I could... Oh, and Sony Vegas at the same time. I could render the videos at a much higher bit rate. So when you do watch them at 1080p, you'll be watching them at a higher bit rate. But as it is at the moment, I can't uh, render these. Because, I mean, if I rendered a 4K video, I'd have to render it at 68 megabits for a 60, 60 FPS. Um, it'd take me two years to render it. But when you watch it back at 1080p, it would be at a much higher bit rate and a standard bit rate if you know what i mean if you send if you send a 4k it'll trickle down to a higher bit rate lower down as well so yeah that's all i can do at the moment 1080p so that's pretty much it really um and that's it that's all i can tell you um i said i, I used to use uh catalyst not catalyst radion settings um but as I said, it, it doesn't do the it doesn't do four channel audio, which is what OBS is good for. But yeah, I I do recommend OBS. I mean, it's free, um, but there there are absolutely millions of tutorials how to use it and getting the best settings. So just go to YouTube, say best settings for OBS, um, and that's what I've got. So uh, there you go. That's all I do. So, uh, no, I don't want to say that. Get out. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.